Welcome back to the channel guys hope everybody's doing well i uh, got another video today working on the all six honda crf 250r so i went to twisted mx yesterday and uh, before i left i ended up stripping out the top bolt of my throttle assembly and the issue is is that um, i have a pro taper throttle twist uh, mechanism in there and it's got a bearing in the end and that's all good and you know dandy but I think what's going on is that I, when I went to the park, or I'm sorry, when I went to the track yesterday, um, I bit at one time on an inside turn. I was going too slow. I should have took the outside turns on everything. Long story short, throttle didn't want to snap back like it should, so I ended up taking it apart after the first um, vet class, vet C class went out, and I only did like three laps, and I was just beat because it was just yeah, I didn't get a lot of sleep the night before. And I was kind of dehydrated, so it wasn't a good idea. I didn't have a whole lot of, lot to eat that yesterday either. So um, end of the story is that the throttle wasn't twisting back. I took it apart, and it found a lot of rubbing, so or a lot of rubbing marks and some rough stuff. Um, so I'm going to take it apart and see if I can smooth that stuff out to the point to where my throttle um, activity, my throttle function can be smooth again, and it'll snap back on its own. Because when you take the throttle assembly off, you pull on the the one cable it will snap back nice and you know quick like it should but when you put it all together it doesn't want to do that so i'm gonna to have to fix the throttle assembly for now because if i want to go to the track tomorrow on sunday <clears throat> 4th of july because they're open at 9 30 so if i want to go back there again with the kids because uh, the kids kind of wanted to take their bikes because they just loved the whole situation the whole situation so i'm gonna to have to fix the the throttle assembly which will consist of me having to drill a hole all the way through the throttle assembly on the top and then get a long enough bolt to you know bolt it all back together so that's what i'm gonna do today if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel though make sure you hit the subscribe button and the alert bell smash the like button because that always helps on youtube i really appreciate it and we'll go ahead and get into this all right all right so here's the throttle this is what we're looking at and this is all 
galled pretty bad. And that's why it's not smooth anymore. You can see it all in there. So I'm going to try to see if I can get this to where it's usable for the weekend. This is the back section, and then this is the front section, and this is the, these are the threads that are stripped out, stupid me. I mean, I probably could tap some more threads and put a longer bolt in there, that'll probably work. Heck, that's probably why I don't think it. I don't think that's the right length bolt. You can see where it stripped the threads out, right there, and there's still a good four threads left. So let's see what we can do about this, <clears throat> as well as this. Now I got some. <clears throat> I got sandpaper here, and my trusty glass. You don't need a lot. I put one drop of soap in here and with a big, big cup of water. So I, I'm going to do what's called lapping on this. This might even thin it out a little bit too, to where it's got a little bit more free play. Because the thing is, is I'm not sure if this is stock and these are supposed to work together. Like you could just buy this and use it with a stock assembly. Or if they should have bought it aftermarket and they just tried to get by with the least expensive option. Because I was going to go to one of the shops today, but it's Saturday, you know, July 3rd. And uh, yeah, it's just not cutting it because no shops were open, so... It's doing something, that's no doubt about that. Let's keep going. This is 400 grit sandpaper. Change directions because it'll cross hatch and allow you to take off more at a time, as well as create an even removal.
I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing more damage than I am good. <clears throat> but that's all I got to do. That's all I have to work with at this point. So I may as well try something. Are you ever going to know unless you try, right? There's a little sleeve in there as well. But the other thing I want to do is uh, pop this back out because there's a bearing in there. I had to replace the bearing because it got this old one got stuck and I had to bang on it pretty good. And it's just destroyed. So I'm going to get a new one of those. But the one that I put, or I get a spacer. Now the one that I put in here, same outer diameter, um, bigger inner diameter. So the little plug that gets that goes in here, which I'll show you. So the inner diameter of the the old bearing is nice and tight, but the new bearing has a gap in there. So I tried to put a bushing. It didn't really, it worked, but not very well. Cause it, um, just, just enough to where it would rub in certain spots. So I used a brass bushing. Now, if I had something that was a little bit thicker, that would have worked great. All right. So you can see the gap there. So that's what I need to try and fix, at least until I get a new bearing. All right, so what I'm going to do, or at least try, is to see if I could put some of this shrink, this heat shrink for wire, soldering wire, over the end of this piece here, and then see if that will take up the right amount of space in between the post on the end of this plug and the bushing. It doesn't want to stay stretched out though. I don't know if I have another piece that's big enough. to make sure it slides in there easy. Let's give it a try. Nice. That should do it. I don't know if you can get like rebuild kits for these where it's got just new bushings and stuff.
obviously the best option would you be buying buying new which is what will happen all right so i couldn't find a bolt that was long enough but not so long that it wouldn't bottom out on this here so i just went ahead and drilled both of these out with a 3 16 inch drill bit and then tapped Retap the holes all the way through with a six millimeter by one tap. And then that will, I mean, I could put a bolt all the way through there. It's got way more threads to hold on. So, um, yeah, if you guys have one of these that's stripped out, just go ahead and drill the holes all the way through in the back. You'd be good to go. So, all right, let's go ahead and try and get this thing on here and see what happens. All right, guys, so this is what I did. I ended up drilling both of these holes out, like I said, and then I just tapped them all the way through, and that's holding it awesome. And I figured out what my problem was. Um, so to sum it up, you have a cavity here that needs to be you know, perfectly parallel like this. It's gotta have a parallel space in there so this can slide back and forth easy. Well, there's when these two front pieces are mated together at the front there's a gap back here where you uh, where the two mating surfaces for the bolts are so whenever I would tighten it down um, what would happen is it would bring these it would separate these two pieces and cause like a con convex um, shape so to speak Obviously, it's you know two two flat pieces. One you know I was making this side go that way, and this side go that way, and that's what was pinching this. And so what I did is first I tried a piece of like uh, eighth inch rubber, and that just didn't really seem right. So um, I put a couple shims here. Obviously, you know they're paper. So um, I have one that goes all the way in, and then one that goes halfway. And then when I tightened it up. Now the throttle's completely loose. So that's all it was. Um, this will work for now. Everything's, you know, it's got a, a little bit of play in it. Um, so that's gonna work. So that will get me going for tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so I think I'm good for now. Uh, last thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put this hand grip back on and that will be it. All right, so that's it. Works flawlessly just out shit so all right that is it so what was done here just to sum it up was to fix the bolt hole i drilled both of these holes all the way out with a 3 16 inch bit and then i used a six millimeter by 1.0 tap and then i used longer six millimeter by one bolts in there obviously and then I used shims on the back. Well, I did a few things. I lapped all these pieces here to smooth them out to get the galling off. And galling is just transfer of one metal from one surface to another. So I got the galling taken care of. And then once I figured it out, I just shimmed this back section here to keep the geometry of these two pieces where the the throttle twist sits the cam there to where it stayed perfectly flat so no problems at all all right guys that's it i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you got some useful tips out of this and uh, you know if you guys have issues with your throttle slide and your two on your four stroke eh, it could even work on a two stroke but either way if you got problems like that hopefully this helped you guys out so all right, guys, we'll see you in the next video, so come on back. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the alert bell. Smash that like button as well, and we'll see you guys in the next video. So come on back. Take care, and God bless.